welcome back to my channel today I'm doing this bronze glam fully shimmering eye no eyelashes because you guys know how I feel about eyelashes I get a bit lazy with that life sometimes and yeah it's actually a real chit chat chit chat get ready with me video I don't go through any in-depth details about um, how I'm going to be doing my makeup or why I'm doing certain things so if you guys like more tutorial tutorials Go and watch another one of my videos because this is not one of them. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, click that button down below if you would like to see more from me. This is a full video on update on my life, exciting things that are happening and things that I am super excited about. So yeah, um, let me know if you like these kind of chit chat videos in the comments below. Let me know if you like this look by giving a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, go and follow me on Instagram so you can keep more up to date with my everyday life and more makeup looks and that kind of thing. Let me know what you would like to see next in the comments below as it always helps me and I love your inspiration. And if you would like to see how I get to this look, please keep watching. So today, if you're not super into chit chat videos I'm sorry but I'm just gonna sort of do my makeup and then list all the products below but not really go into too much detail about what I'm using or why I'm using it so I just got my hair done by my friend Brie she did one of those outside braids and I just love it I wish I could do my hair I've had my hair braided in a few videos and everyone's like oh my god can you do a tutorial and I'm like no I can't because I don't know how to braid so basically I thought I would give you guys a little bit of a life update style vid. Even though I feel like these can sometimes go for too long because I just talk way too much. Okay. So basically if you guys follow me on like Instagram and Snapchat you may or may not know that I am officially going to London this year. It's so exciting. I'm really just like over the moon about it. Okay, you're gonna think I'm crazy. You may or may not know if you're new to my channel or if you haven't watched my videos before, but I am 100 million percent obsessed with Beyonce, my favorite, favorite artist in the whole world. My friend and I bought tickets to go and see Beyonce at Wembley Stadium and I'm just like, oh! I booked it a while ago, so it's kind of like not even that new news anymore, but I still, I'm so excited. So I had to tell you guys, I was really pumped about it. So we are going in at the end of June, we are flying to London together. She was already going that, um, to Europe and it just worked out that she was she fully changed her trip so that we could go together. We've been to see Beyonce together before. We are both just as crazy as each other. So be prepared for some crazy months dedicated to Beyonce. So we're flying to London and we're going to be there. We, le we legit get there, have a day, and then the Beyonce concert is on, and then we're going, and then we end up booking concerts to the second night because it sold out so quickly that she added a second night at Wembley Stadium, so we're going to that as well. I definitely want to vlog the trip just because I think it'll be so cool to vlog. And yeah, if you guys really want me to vlog it all, let me know. That's the craziest thing I've ever done, like booked random tickets to London to go and see Beyonce. Like, that's pretty freaking crazy. So it's pretty much the cr most craziest, spontaneous thing I've ever done in my whole life. Like, what is the craziest, most spontaneous thing you've ever done? Like, I'm not a very spontaneous person, so it took a lot for me to be like, okay, yeah, let's do this. Like, spend all this money on getting tickets. And, like, we ba I bought the tickets. We bought the tickets when they went on sale in London. I hadn't even bought a plane ticket, and we had tickets to go and see her. It was crazy. It was... <laughs> It was really exciting, but I was also like really scared to tell anyone because they're going to be like, oh, and then I'm like, I have to get work off and, you know, it's just the end of our busy time of the year just because I didn't know how they were going to react and what they were going to think. It was a bit hectic. We're going to be in London for a week and then Beck, my friend who I'm going with, was always going to Greece. So I decided to spend a week in Greece with her and her friends. They were nice enough to invite me and just I don't know I was like she was like don't go all the way over just to you know like obviously Beyonce will be amazing but we should don't go all the way over there just to fill that so I'm spending a week in Greece we're going to 
Um, we'll be in Athens just for a day and then we'll go to Paros and Mykonos as well. And I've never been to Greece before so that is really exciting to me so I'm pretty pumped about that. So that'll be a, just a good little, it's only going to be like a two week trip. Then I'll be back to work but I mean it's still pretty crazy. So it feels like forever away, like end of June, July. Well, it's basically July. It feels like forever away, but at the same time, I think it's gonna come around so quick. So I have to save like all my money and I'm like stressing out because I obviously wanna keep buying makeup, but I can't really afford to just spend so much money on makeup and I have to save so much money for the trip and it's just like stressing me out. Our pigmented editions. I also have my friend's wedding coming up, which I'm so excited for, and she has actually asked me to do the bridesmaids makeup, which is basically all my friends anyway, so it's kind of good, but like I'm not a makeup artist. I do makeup on myself all the time, obviously, so it's kind of stressing me out. We've done a few practices, so I feel a bit more comfortable, but still, doing your own makeup and thinking, oh yeah, like... I'm, I'm alright at doing my own makeup, like I don't think I'm amazing by any means, I don't think I'm really like that good at all, but doing someone else's makeup, like that is like a whole, whole different kettle of fish here, like I'm feeling a bit better about it all, so hopefully, fingers crossed on the day, it'll look really good and I hope she likes it, obviously, it's kind of stressing me out because like, big pressure, like it's her wedding day. It's not just, you know, it's pretty stressful. So that's the eyes done. I don't know if I'm gonna put lashes on today, just because you guys know I'm a bit like, uh, about lashes sometimes. Been using this mascara like all the time lately and it makes them very like thick, but sometimes I feel like it can also make them clump together. And I'm like an eyelash picker, like if I think that something is clumped together. If my eyelashes are clumped together, I will pick at them. So I have been to London before, but if you have any suggestions or if you live in London or anything like that, and you have any suggestions of things that you like have to do, I've done mostly all the touristy stuff before, but if there's any like cool things that you have to do, please let me know. So that's basically like my main most exciting news that I've been like wanting to tell you guys but I just haven't done a chit chat video in so long and I know you guys kind of like them so I will try my hardest to do them more often. I haven't really been able to make videos that much lately just because it's been, I know I say this all the time but it really has been so hot so if I don't do it first thing in the morning when I get up on like the weekends when I film, it, it like you can't do it during the day, you just can't. It's just humid, it's hot, it's sweaty, it's gross. It's just not ideal. So I'm not really doing anything today at all. This is actually the makeup that I wore to my friend who's getting married, her um, hens party, bachelorette party or whatever you want to call it. So I just thought I would recreate it because I really liked the warmness and it really does suit obviously over here. It's autumn at the moment, so autumn, fall, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I think I've done something to my eye. It's like really red. Great. And it's also my birthday coming up. It's kind of getting close now. Like it's <laughs> April 28th, so it's actually a little while away, but anyways. I am turning 23. Most people are like, oh my god, you look so young. Like, you don't look 23. And I'm like, thank you. I will take it. If someone tells me I look 18, I will take that. I used to always want to look older when I was, like, 16. Everyone would think that I looked so young just because I'm so, like, skinny and gangly. When I was younger, I was like, oh, I just want to look older. And now I'm like, yes, I look young. I'm just going to take it. I look so young. But I just don't know what to do for my birthday this year. I just feel really like, what do I do? I'm turning 23. It's not an exciting birthday at all. I just love birthdays. Do you have any birthday ideas? I was actually thinking of doing a um, sleepover. I said that to my friends and they were like, yeah, that'd be a cute idea. But I don't know if they actually think that I legit want to do it. Because, like, it would be kind of cute to, like, play games and just, like, watch movies and do, like, legit sleepover things. Also for the wedding, I've been looking for, like, new primers. I don't know 
what good long lasting primers are like perfect for you know weddings pictures that kind of thing so if any of you guys have any suggestions on any amazing long lasting primers because that's basically i'm more stressed about like primers and what foundation to use wearing anything on my lower lash line lately. I feel like I've really enjoyed not having anything on there at all and going naked. Feels a little bit more fresh. When I put stuff on my lash line I feel like a little bit more glam like I'm going out. There you have it, that is the finished look. I'm sorry if it went for too long and if I blibbered babbered away, but I guess I warned you at the start that it was a chit chat video and not a very talk through makeup y video. I will list all the products down below, of course, for you guys. I hope you guys like this look. Um, I hope you guys feel a little bit more caught up with my life. Please let me know in the comments below what you would like to see next. As I mentioned, I always like your inspiration. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click that button down below if you would like to keep up to date. Like this video if you like chit chat videos and let me know in the comments below if you like chit chat videos. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye!